Hi, this is Jay from Encodian, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to extract specific pages from a PDF document into separate documents, specifically the first page. So, in this SharePoint library, I've got a Encodian demo document.pdf, which was created from this Word document, but if I click on the PDF document, you can see I've got a seven page document here, and if I click on those, you'll see all the various pages. Just a standard issue document. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to jump into Flow and we're going to create an instant flow. Now, obviously, in a real world scenario, you might trigger this from, I don't know, something hit the file system, an email coming in, or whatever it might be. Um, extract first page, but for demo purposes, we'll do this. And let's manually trigger that. Click Create. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the file properties and the file content from SharePoint. So I've got everything about that file within the flow. I tend to do this. Um, as a matter of principle really, I always get the properties and the file content so that I've got everything in my flow so if I need them later on I've got access to them. So let's pick up this, it's in the Encodian Documents Library, just click here, you can see it's ID32, so let's just pop that in. And if I go and let's get the file content, get file content, oops, there we go, get file content. Okay, uh, same place. and. What we'll do for the file identifier, we'll just pass the file identifier from the get file properties action so that we're not hard coding it in two places. There we go. So the next action is to split this PDF document. So I'm going to click new step and I'm going to go to the encoding connector and I'm going to search for split. And there we go, split PDF. So nice and simple, we'll pass the file name in, uh, which is file name extension, and we'll pass in sorry, the file content. Now the file name, I should add to this, is going to be used to name the files that come out of the file. So if I wanted to change them, I could just type anything in .pdf. Um, so let's say this is called, um, well, it's called encoding document, demo document .pdf, isn't it? So what we're going to get is um, for how many ever documents we split into, so let's say we get 10, it will be 001 underscore name of the PDF document, 002 underscore, so on and so forth. Now, the split configuration is the interesting bit. Before, I'm not obviously not going to go through everything, um, and we've got a good resource on our support portal. If you just go to support.encoding.com, do a search for split, you'll find all the relevant documentation here on the various options and how those options work. What I'm going to do is kind of whiz through them a little bit. So what I don't want to do is split by number of pages, because if I do this, split by number of pages, in my array of documents that come back from split PDF will be seven documents because of seven pages. So I only want to get access to the first page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the page array split configuration and I'm going to pop in, I want page one to page one. So that now is only going to return me one document. If I wanted to get something extra, let's say I wanted to get, I don't know, page six, I could do six. Uh, two, six, and now that would return two PDF documents, one of page one, one of page six, or if I wanted to get, say, pages three to six, then I'd get two PDF documents again, page one, and then another PDF document containing page three to six. You get the idea. So I'm just going to do page one to page one, which gives me page one, and I'm simply going to do create file and pop that document back into SharePoint. So click SharePoint and let's just search for create, save me typing around, create file. And I'm going to pop it back into the same site and the same library for simplicity. And what's going to happen here You'll see here in the split configuration that's coming back from the encoding action is that the two properties I'm interested in are documents file name and documents file content. Now split PDF will always return an array of documents because it's splitting a single thing into potentially multiple, multiple separate documents. Now I know because of my split configuration, I'm only going to get one document back because that's how I've configured it. But of course the um, the, the action still thinks it could be one or more documents. So it will always be an array, but in this instance, it will be an array with one document. The reason why I've mentioned that is when I click on and I select documents file name from here, it's going to put it into a for each loop, sorry, an apply to each loop. 
because it could be more than one, even though we know due to the configuration it would only be one document. That's not that you know that that's the way it works within in Power Automate. That's correct. So I've also selected the uh, the file contents parameter there as well. So let's save this and we'll test it, and we should get page one back or created in the, in SharePoint for that PDF document. We we'll just run through all this uh, standard issue first time run configuration within Power Automate. Click done, 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 and click go. So that's all happened, and you can see this apply to each loop is now running. Now, if I click on it, it should be, and there you can. It's ran one of one because the split PDF uh, return it only returned one document, which is what we're expecting. So page one, and it's created that file inside. You can see it's prefixed there, and it's created that in SharePoint. So let's jump over here and click refresh, and we should see. There we go. There's the document, and I'll just click on that. And there's our page. Brilliant. Okay, so real quick video, but it shows you how you can use the split PDF action to extract out specific pages from a PDF document. We've done it for the first page, but as I say, you can do that for any pages. If you're still a bit unsure, please email us at support at encoding.com or visit support.encoding.com and hopefully uh, you'll find your answer there, but all we'll answer your email. Cheers now.